So while I had always been drawn to both the sciences and the arts, I wanted to be able to create something tangible out of the thoughts, feelings, and ideas that live inside of my mind. Um, but most of all, I wanted to do so in a powerful and meaningful way that could enable people to live with the freedom, health, and happiness they desire, specifically through innovation of technology. And engineering has proven to be a path through which this is possible. I believe that if we want to inspire and nurture innovative minds, that we need to value individuality and support students in taking risks by pursuing projects that were aligned with my values and passions, but sometimes deviated from the norm. I began to realize that the parts of my life that made me feel out of place or seemed unrelated to engineering were actually my strengths. So I would challenge engineering students to define themselves by what they value and care for as an individual before defining themselves by their degree. I would ask that they allow who they are and what they love to intersect with their education in unconventional ways. Engineering to me has always meant service. I'm grateful for the power that my engineering education has given me to serve causes I care deeply about. I hope to see Canada become a country where every individual can live with dignity, safety, and pride in who they are. I believe that engineers build a better Canada when we choose to challenge the status quo and design through a social justice lens. By innovating technology, services, and infrastructure to lift the voices and the lives of populations that are underserved, I believe we are building a better Canada for all.